Hello everyone, Savar Tech here and today I'm going to show you how the password on your computer may not be as secure or as safe as you might want to believe. This is going to require us to access the hard drive on your computer for this part of the series. This is going to be a three or maybe four part series. So for this one you're going to need to access your physical hard drive and you're going to need a cable. Let me show you here. You're going to need this cable here which allows you to plug your hard drive in and read the data. To begin I'll show you a computer with a password in it with files on it and we'll take out that hard drive and read the documents without even needing the password. Let's put that to the test. Oh also I'll show you how to really secure yourself to keep that from happening to you. As we can see we have a computer full of files on the desktop and this computer also has a password. Um, I'll switch to actual camera mode for this part since my screen recorder can't record the screen lock and input the password. So we know this computer has a password in it and it has files. I'm going to show you how to access these files without using the password at all. Now this is the same computer. We're going to open it up and take the hard drive to read the content. Let's open the back panel here. Um, we have here the storage compartments, which is the hard disk drive and the SSDs. Um, so this computer has both. The SSD is a newer version of storage device which holds all your data. And it's likely on the left side or in the center. Um, and on the right side, we have the hard disk drive. Uh, my computer has both, but yours may only have either of them. The files you saw earlier are on the big one, the hard disk drive, and we're going to access them here in a few seconds. For our demonstration, we'll remove both to show you that we can read the data in there without even using the password of the computer to show you the vulnerability here. This SSD has a device that can read it, just like I showed you for the hard disk drive in the beginning of the video. I'll add the link in the description for you to how you can get that, and we'll remove the hard drive as well. As you can see, this is uh, in a little case here. We don't even need to remove the case because all we need to do is plug and play, and we should be able to access the data. Now, using that device I showed you, the HDD reader cable, I will plug it into this MacBook and plug it into the hard drive. And we're going to read all the data in there just using this MacBook. You can use just about any computer to do that. I'll show you my Mac screen here. We'll click on the drive. And let's actually go inside the MacBook screen so you can see better. As you can see, we have multiple folders. Usually an attacker will likely go to the users folder, pick a user, and we're at the desktop. All the files are here. All the files that you are seeing on that other computer, they are all here. No password used, nothing fancy, just plug and play, and we have access to all those files. So this shows you your hard drive is not really secured or um, a password does not really help you secure your data. We'll do the same for the solid state drive, the SSD. We'll just plug it in. As you can see, you're seeing the OS here, which is the SSD's name. And we'll go inside the MacBook screen so you can have a better view once again. And here are all these folders. Again, an attacker would likely access the users folder, pick a user, and go to another folder here. You will see that this SSD has files that have just been compromised by a simple cable connection. So um, now I'm going to show you how to really protect yourself since a password doesn't really protect you. For this, you'll need uh, Windows 10 Pro. Or education I don't think home does have that feature but this is how to protect yourself from that so you want to go into the start menu type in BitLocker and when manage BitLocker appears click on that 
click on turn on BitLocker. You could save to a file, but it won't save properly. So I'll go ahead and print the recovery key. Print to PDF, click OK, and name it something you can remember. Save it in somewhere easy find for you. And let's open this. You can see we have this recovery key that's printed. You want to have that recovery key somewhere you can find it. Probably upload it to your Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. Somewhere you can find it. Write it down. I don't care. Let's show you about the identifier before we move on. This is what the name of the recovery key is. It's not too critical, but you want to know what the identifier is in case you get locked out so you can see which recovery key to use if you have multiple computers. If you have one, then you already know which one. So close out of everything uh, except this. You want to click next here and you want to click next here also. <clears throat> Start the encryption of your drive. We'll click that and this part will take several minutes. So I'll fast forward. Once it's done, you can hit close and um, you can always come back here to back up your key, maybe save it to a thumb drive or print it again. And that's pretty much how to really secure your computer to encrypt it so that no one can access your files on your hard drive. If someone were to try to access your hard drive, this is all they would see. Nothing, basically. So nothing will pop up because the drive is encrypted, as you can see on the screen here. Um, we have the hard drive connected to the same MacBook, nothing is shown. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. In my next video, I'll show you how to do the same thing without removing the hard drive. No screwdrivers, no cables needed. Uh, share that video with someone who you think might find this interesting or good to know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.